the opiolites will be replaced. Then opiolites will be eroded. Till then the sediments were happening on the oceanic floor. So no fragments of opiolites will find in the sediments. Once subduction starts, the opiolites will come up. So those opiolites will be eroded now and they will be included in the fish. So volcanic fragments, pyrodite, <coughs> all those rocks now the fragments will get within the fleece. Although in normal sequence, why there should be volcanic rocks? So for maturity is concerned, you see, maturity means rich in silica. So the fleece sediment will not be rich in silica, na? it will have fragments of the basic rocks. That is the fleece is less mature. Similarly, so molest will come when when the whole mountain belt will come out of the water. So molest is a fresh water deposit. Fleece is marine deposit. Light. Light. So these are the differences. Light. And normal sequence takes place when, when the things were happening or lifting was taking place. So these are the primary differences, you know. But if you read details about fleece, molest, you will get some other things also. But these are the primary differences between mountain will grow now, na? Now to everything was within the sea. Within the sea. So some 6,000 km below or 5,000 to 5,000 meter below. Within the sea, within the water. Now things will come up. So gradually the mountain will build up, you know, fast at the sea that, that, that is the place where the subduction will take place and thrust sheet will come out. Sediments will be taken to 25 km, melted, that part. But as you go little away, simple the sediments will be thrusted up. That is how Himalaya will build up. So the sediments coming out of the subduction zone is part of Himalaya already. Himalaya is building up with these blocks. So the Himalayan built up will start from the subduction zone. This part you can understand. Right? So from the interlane, that is called the interlane. Now it will how it spreads through the sea. First it will affect the basement, the oceanic floor and the sediments <coughs> overlying it. Because that is the major normal fault, you know. So from there the compressional origin will begin. So things will be chopped out, one will be thrown over the other, building the thrust blocks one over the other, you know. That is how the Himalaya will grow now. Just like you see, suppose you have a prone here, you know? suppose you have a prone. And from here, you are now pushing. That is the pushing point, you know. The future is the pushing point. So this apron will gradually rise like this. So this starting the Himalayan origin will start from here. And this part is the all those metamorphic rocks will occur, melting will occur, because this is the place where the sediments are being taken inside. However little it may be, but that depth is sufficient for melting, for metamorphism. But the oceanic slab will go much below. The oceanic slab will go much below. So equalite, equalite will develop. Now, huh, then <laughs> now you see how this rising up is happening. How this rising <coughs> is not magmatic emplacement, you know. A pluton is not coming up. These building blocks are your thrust blocks, like this, you know. One is added over the other. That is how the mountain belt is built up. So somebody says how the decantrop is built up. It is built up with one flow over the other, you know. It is a or Malani, Malani in Rajasthan, you know, how it is built up. A Pluton has come. So mountain built mountain belt has been built up. But how Himalaya has been built up? By these thrust seats or the individual seats are called Napi. Or thrust seats. One over the other they are ready. Initially they might be all in the same level, you know. But now they are broken into pieces, now, imbricated. Understood, na? Now, suppose this part is the beginning. Now you want to increase the height. So what will happen? So once you increase the height, you see, these two parts has to go out. Now. Just like in a prone, you know, you are pushing from below, you know. 
you want to make a higher free flow go, so these two clamps will have also has to spread. You just cannot make the apron, you know, rise like this. It's thodi hoga. You have to make it this way. So that means more and more area of liquid now will be affected by this thrust. It will spread because you want to build larger Himalaya. So this spreading, you know, so this was the subduction zone initially. This spreading will go to Vindhyas. See, the, here is the basin. Here is the thesis. And these sediments are here. But here, what is the things? Vindhyani is sitting here. Then followed by the peninsula nice. These are the crustal rocks. So now, as you are pushing it, gradually this part, you know, will affect it. <coughs> just you cannot blow him all, you know, just put it, this much material, you know. So it will not gradually, say, thrusting was here, gradually thrust will go this way, you know, both sides. So this will go like this, like this, like this, you know. So now, earlier the subduction zone was the main place, you know, where thrusting was happening, at the subduction zone. All the petty sediments, the basin, you know. Now what will happen? It will affect this crust. The peninsula ties and the wind ties. So this margin, you know, this margin, where the crust is in contact with the ocean. Crust and the ocean boundary will be affected now. So here the thrust will develop. We are growing like this, you know, we are growing like this. Now it has come to this place. So this part will go up. So the Tethian sediments will be thrown over this. Abhidakto, it was confined to this part. The one Tethian over the other Tethians. So within Tethian, this thrusting was confined. So now the Tethians will go over this. Similarly, Peninsula Nice is followed by Bindians now. So Peninsula Nice will go up. Here Bindians will be here. This will be the Tethians. Here will be subduction zone. So as and more and more height grows, the part of the cross will be affected by thrust now. So thrust starts from here. So this is the oldest thrust. The youngest thrust will be here. So this thrust is your PG, the peninsula nice and the Vinyas. Arcane rocks and the protozoic rocks. This thrust is your MCT. Then this protozoic rocks and this part. This will be Sivalix, you know. Sivalix. So this is your MBT. So MCT will happen earlier. Then MBT will come, now. That is the reason why all these thrusts have activated, you know, or developed subsequently. Then, Sivalix, after what? This is your MFT or Himalaya HFT, Himalayan frontal thrust. Then, Ganges will come. So, then this will be affected as the Himalaya is growing. But follow this point, na? the oldest thrust will be the Sircha. Sircha. So now what we are getting, you see, you know, follow this point, na. how it is happening. Yeah. So according to this, there is a hole now, the ocean basin that was present, mm -hmm. that basin uh, that, that <coughs> closed because of thrusting, according to this. But if we consider, uh, compare the same thing to the Pacific Ocean uh, at the moment, that ocean uh, thrust is uh, subducting below the, the, the uh, continent. Below the continent. So then over there we find subduction is happening, but we don't find any thrusting that would give rise to any uh, like a similar kind of thing. See,
This is what we are talking about the here, na? This part, na? This part or this part is. So here the entire thing is now oceanic. Okay. So now this is subducting under the continental plate. So here is subduction zone. Understood, na? So these sediments are being imbricated, sliced up, and thrown over the ocean. Thrown over the ocean. Because ocean is existing, na? Just like here, you see, this initially at the beginning, you know, beginning में जो हुआ, all these thrust shifts are lying within the ocean, within the ocean. They didn't come up. Now tomorrow, suppose this ocean closes, ocean closes, so all these thrust shifts will appear on the top. Just like here, you know, these thrust shifts, once upon a time they were existing inside the sea. So now they have come up now, on the top of the Himalaya you are seeing now. So but then these are because of uh, igneous activity. Which one? No, no, no. Never. Igneous activity for what not really? For the Andes, if we consider the Andes there. See, you take a cross section here, anywhere cross section, you know. This is the Pacific Ocean. Subducting under America and in general America. So now here, here you will get those thrust shifts, you know. They are sitting one over the other. This is the sea. We say it is an accretionary prism, you know. Accretionary prism. Near the trends, all those sediments, rocks, they are interested, slice, you know. Forming a prismatic structure or waste icon structure, this will come today. Now, what you are telling, you know, is volcanism. Volcanism taking place here. Here. This mountain belt. How this volcanism is taking place? This plate is going down. Sediments are being pushed inside. So that sediments are being melted, they are producing volcanism. Now, this, uh, this ocean is lava which is going down, you know. That is also getting melted. So they are producing volcanism. So this volcanism which we are seeing, na, they are in the upper plate. So if you see Himalaya, you go to China side. I will show you that again. Na. Just a minute. Here is Himalaya. GS four five three four. Himalaya. GS five three four. Follow. Five three four. Follow. Hmm? Fourth follow. Fourth follow. Dark line here, it goes like this. See this dark line? Yeah. This is the subduction zone. This is the subduction zone. This is called indoor, sanko, suture. Follow? So now this green color rock, you know, green color rock, both sides are there. Green, blue, these are the tethy sediments. Tethy sediments. Both sides are there. Green, blue, these are the tethy sediments. 
some of them are previous sediments some are fish the green yellow and this blue these are the sediments now if you go this side you know you will get those granites all along this ye wala bahut bada lava pe hai like this ye ek hai ye ek hai ye ek so these granites are equivalent of andesite granites now this part ye subduction jo hai so these rocks you know once of the time inside the sea as long as india was away india was this side you know ocean was at this thing once india came together closer you know the sea closed na so if you close the pacific ocean all those rocks sheets which are existing on the ocean floor they will be zero so how will close once india or oh, sorry asia comes close to the other so that part we have not seen so far na here we have seen a big ocean has been closed so these are those that is thrust now gradually this thrust spread this way so this part is your four lanes you know it is spreading to the four lane this is the inter lane this is the four lane so now these yellow colors then gray colors gray colors are your crystalline rocks archaeans central crystalline of himalaya the gray color this this color rocks little yellow you know they are your bindians so follow this point what do you see here like this you know after that is you will find the central crystalline central crystalline central crystalline ke baad kya aa gaya your lesser himalaya total the graph then swalix will come so these things are part of the crust if india would not have gone to the china side they would have remained on a bitted you know just like pacific but india came closer to china so entire ocean is closed so you are seeing the tethys thrust as well as the bindian thrust crystalline thrust everything you are seeing now today so understand this part now how the thrusting has spread towards the four lane because you want to rise the himalaya you know so more and more area will be you know taken into the thrusting region then only things will grow na things are not going by addition of magma from the below they have to be you know cross sheets growing one over the other that is why the height will grow follow this part na so now ग्लोकोफेन ग्लोकोफेन जेटाइट जेटाइट 